I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? I'm Father Paul. Where are you from, Father? Uh, originally from Iraq, but uh, we live in Australia. I'm a uh, vicar general in the Archdiocese of uh, Sydney, Chaldean Catholic Diocese in Sydney. Mm -hmm. And you, are, you said you're from originally from Kurdistan, is that correct? From, we, yeah, uh, I was born in uh, one of the villages in Kurdistan, mm -hmm. near Zaho, mm -hmm. uh, region Dohok, mm -hmm. in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. And you know, I, we all know a little about Kurdistan. Are mm -hmm. there a lot of Catholic Christians in Kurdistan as well? Yeah, we used to have, uh, yeah, so more than six dioceses as Chaldean we used to have in the, in the Kurdistan region. Now people, you know, from the wars, unfortunately, now they are, there is still diocese still there, but uh, of course less people, they immigrated, you know, mm -hmm. because of wars, but we still have. You still have. We still have people there, living there, yeah. And you told me, you know, that there was the, the Gulf War, mm. and you had to leave overnight. You yeah. had to leave your place. You That's took right. what you could take, That's right. and you left. That's right. That's what uh, happened uh, back in '91 with the uh, Gulf War, mm -hmm. the first, you know, Kuwait, mm -hmm. and we left everything behind. We just fled on a day like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you said in winter was in winter was because uh, I think was uh, I remember was uh, Easter Easter mm. Saturday and Sunday that was when you left we left yes Whoa. yeah 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 so we left uh, and because we we lost everything because mm -hmm. of war so we left behind everything we fled was maybe six seven eight hours it took start no it took so one day and a half mm -hmm. one one night we said we, we we stayed on well, like a cave or something you know yeah. So because it was winter, so mm -hmm. we, we, we reached the border of Turkish mm -hmm. and we passed the Turkish border and we stayed a couple of weeks uh, in the mountains and then uh, the new United Nations intervened so they transferred us to like a camp of refugees in, uh, in Turkey. Mm -hmm. yeah, in, uh, it's called, I think that time was slow called mm -hmm. uh, something I'm not remember but uh, yeah, it was one of the, the camps of refugees. Mm -hmm. So they gave us tent there. So we stay, we stayed more than eight months in the tent on the winter. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What a journey! How many people in one tent? So one tent were like a family. Like mm -hmm. family, we were five. Five. We mm -hmm. stayed five. Uh, family of five. There were single people too. Mm -hmm. Like you know. But uh, yeah. So all outside, I guess. Uh, all outside. So we're. Uh, you imagine, you know, in the in the camp there is uh, mud there it's a tent uh, so outdoor toilet outside water like portable water outside and you know that camp uh, imagine how difficult it is you cannot never imagine you know if you don't leave it and yes. you live with it and uh, yeah so that's did it make you grow in faith what did you think? Did you people yeah. can get rebellious? You could say, "God, what are you doing with me?" Yeah, but what was that for you? Your reaction that's, of it? Yeah, that's uh, we always, always we as a Christians, you know, if we are strong faith, we always see, see God's hand. We accept, you know, and God has plan, you know, and uh, uh, yeah, so we accepted uh, we that hardship of life, uh, and then at the end. At the end of that bad experience, very tough experience, so we end up uh, like we were immigrated to Australia. You know, in '92 we reached Australia after that tough uh, moments, times. Uh, you know, and then that, uh, in a way, in a way, of course, uh, it uh, like empowers our faith you know to become stronger in a tough time like you know we imagine jesus on the cross you know that he's suffering so we offer those suffering with jesus so we say god he will never forsake us so he was always with us and he let us still you know we we reach like not not like say promised land but uh, a safe land which was australia Mm -hmm. And then uh, we could, because we could never, we could uh, not been able to go back at, because we, lo we lost everything mm -hmm. back at the wars, unfortunately. Yeah, so that's why we decided, uh, and not only that's my experience, thousands of thousands of families 
they fled, you know, and uh, some reached Australia, some America, some Canada, some maybe German, some France. Yeah, so that's what uh, happened. Uh, and at the time, you were already Catholic priest, or you finished studying in Australia? No, I was. I was in seminary at that time in the war, Gulf War. So I did. Uh, I started in one. 1981 my seminary life after primary primary school so i went to mosul four years i stayed was in the dominican seminary seminary there but there was was closed out that seminary so i went to baghdad so a patriarchal seminary mm -hmm. so i continued my studies there mm -hmm. uh, till uh, the war took place and uh, the you know the all universities seminarians st schools were closed shut down mm -hmm. we went back to our own home my home was my house home my parents were mm -hmm. in kurdistan mm -hmm. so i went back to them at that time you know my parents were moved to our village mm -hmm. because they were they closed the village so we went back to other other closer to zaho mm -hmm. and uh, and then and then unfortunately the uh, the situation became worse because mm -hmm. You know, that's a political situations. The Kurdish controlled the region. Mm -hmm. We were become part of that uh, region, and then after two weeks, you know, the Iraqi forces arrived. So there was agreement and disagreement. So we scared. We were scared, so we fled. Uh, so we fled. We, we end up in Turkey. So because we we were scared that we will got will get killed. You know, it wasn't a safe place in the war, unfortunately. So we didn't have any escape. So we fled. Okay. Yeah. And is it true, you said to me, like under Saddam Hussein, Christians quite peacefully look, could live in Iran? Like before, of course, before of war, and even in the war, Gulf, uh, the Iran Iraq war, so Christians were all protected. Uh, mm -hmm. They were lived uh, good ways. Uh, of course, they gave so many uh, martyrs in the war, so, you know, but uh, that's why we were, we are Christian, we are part of Iraq, but. Uh, we don't distinguish ourselves from Kurdish or Muslims, but we are Iraq. We are Iraqi of citizens. We are proud of Iraq, but uh, that political situations, mm -hmm. and uh, even in our village, a small village, so many you know martyrs they got, they were get, sacrificed their life for the country. Mm -hmm. So that's we are part of that. So yeah, but unfortunately, the political situation, the toughness of life, we could not leave. Uh, so we left. Mm -hmm. We left, uh, we fled from uh, walking, you know, imagine walking from Iraqi border till <laughs> Turkish border. So it took us one, one day and a half in a snow time, in a winter time, you know, rainy. So we didn't have any shelter. We had two blankets with us, you know, we fled some food, you know, our food lasted for one day and a half. And then we reached the border of Turkish. After maybe 10, one weeks, the United Nations intervened, so they gave us, provide us some foods and some shelter. Mm -hmm. And after three weeks, so they, we went back to that refugee camps, they gave us tents, so we lived there for eight months. And then you went to Australia, you finished your education there? Yeah, and then, you know, when... Uh, How does that work? You know, yeah. did, did they check that you went to seminary? They still had the Dominicans there and they, yeah, they, they I, called I, them up and said, is this yeah. guy... Well, how is it practically? Yeah, working? because I, at that time, you know, we, I, I wanted to continue my studies. As, mm -hmm. That's what we believe. I believe that it's a call from God. It's a vocation to become a priest. It's a call. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, we are all called, but uh, we have different uh, vocations we have, different mm -hmm. calls, uh, each one of us, some people married life, some priests, some, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to continue. Uh, there was some toughnesses there, even in, in Melbourne. I lived in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to continue, so I wrote a letter to my rector in Baghdad, because after three, four months, they started, down, they started yeah. seminary, but I, we were fled to Turkey, we couldn't go back. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, I wrote a letter, I so wanted to continue, so we did, I did some courses in, uh, back in Melbourne, but without in the, not in seminary, so I didn't like it because I was outside of seminary, I cannot be trained, you know, informed, you know, well. Mm -hmm. So the rector told me, he said, okay, we will, uh, we will talk to Patriarch at that time, mm -hmm. say a couple of years, so it was, I'm talking of 92, mm -hmm. so till 95. Mm -hmm. So my uh, so they uh, they gave me scholarship to Rome. So I went in 95 to Rome oh, wow. to yeah. continue the study. So I was lucky, you know. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. So I went back. I left my family there. Uh -huh. Yeah. So and I went back to Rome, uh, or first time to Rome. Mm -hmm. Continue my study. Mm -hmm. uh, I finished uh, after eight years mm -hmm. with PhD in biblical theology. So mm -hmm. yeah. So that's. I can see God's hand. I can see God's hand in this uh, vocation, you know. And now I am priest. I am happy, mm -hmm. uh, leading this group, uh, 42 people. You went back to Australia, a yeah. priest in Australia. Uh, yeah. So after eight years, I went back to Australia. So I was assigned to assistant priest in Sydney, mm -hmm. but my family lived in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. So since since then, I'm in yeah. Sydney. And yeah. do do the Iraqi um, Catholic Christian have a special right like the Lebanese? Is there a special right or is it? Yeah, special right. It's a Chaldean Catholic right. It's like okay. Lebanese, like uh, Maronite, you know, yeah. like Balkite, but Catholic. Mm -hmm. Eastern right, you know, Eastern right. right. We have okay. uh, some similarities with uh, those Eastern uh, rights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but Eastern right, Catholic, uh, we have our own right. Uh, so it's very old uh, liturgy we have. Mm -hmm. Li that liturgy of Mass. A day and Mary, you know, Mass uh, goes back to fourth century. Some prayers they mm -hmm. are very ancient, mm -hmm. so we have like uh, that's why that treasure of our. Liturgy. Is there a big difference, Maronite Catholic, in the West? What you see, what you saw in Rome? Uh, not that big. Uh, of course, it's own, it's own right. Uh, mm -hmm. Some similarities they are the liturgies, uh, some ancient, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. So even even I remember because we studied in Rome. Mm -hmm. Pope Benedict, I think he's the late Pope Benedict XVI, he said, uh, one of the, his saying, uh, this liturgy of Mar Ad and Mary, our liturgy, one of them, it's uh, normal, it's uh, a very ancient uh, liturgy, you know, mm -hmm. uh, maybe four, goes back to fourth century, so, wow. as a liturgy, you see, mm -hmm. yeah, Amazing. so some prayers, they are there, so, mm -hmm. we keep that, tra that, that liturgy, is. still now, we practice that liturgy, and our wow. dialect, our language is, we say Chaldean Aramaic, but modern Aramaic. At home, we speak Chaldean. In uh, back Australia, and our home, we speak now with a group Chaldean. Mm -hmm. That, uh, as proved, is the most direct dialect, like a closest dialect to Jesus dialect. That's what I wanted to ask. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we are proud of that. Uh -huh. yeah. And when did you hear the first time about Medjugorje? And what did you think when you heard about Medjugorje, the story? Medjugorje, the so no, we, of course, we, there are so many YouTubes, so no, we, we heard about that. So we, I planned, you know, to do like a group. I came last time was 2018, mm -hmm. so and I like it very much. We went, we are, you know, doing a true world tour, you know, other uh, shrines, uh, not, but Medjugorje, it has uh, specialities there. Uh, that's why I wanted to repeat this experience and uh, people, they are lucky to, you know, to come here. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is so special for you? That so you special, to special because it has, uh, I think each, each place has uh, some specialities. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, I like the duration, you know, because thousands of family, of some of people, they gather and the duration, you know. Masses we have everywhere, confessions, you know, they, mm -hmm. uh, the rosary going to Persian Hills, that's uh, this time 5.30 today. Uh, last time we did, we did even the uh, the cross, the cross hill, or the, the mountain, cross mountain, of, yeah. cross mountain. Last time we did today, no, we couldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's the special uh, speciality is still there. You know, mm -hmm. you do you, a bit sacrifice, you claim, you praying. Uh, well, it's not easy. Yeah, I mean, but it's a bit of a sacrifice. What you did um, leaving your yeah. country, yeah, I it is. Yes. crossing the mountains again. Right? Yes, yes. And um, you know, confession is central here in Medjugorje. Yeah. Maybe mm. somebody listening is scared to go to confession. Think, what will the priest tell me? Twenty years I didn't go. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, before I confessed with you, we could be scared. I'm used to it now. But people are, you know, why should I tell somebody else what I did? You know, yeah. what would you tell these people? No, but uh, I. <laughs> this is. Uh, I, I always, you know, think, you know, and uh, I believe firmly that. Confession, it's a very a great sacrament. Why? Because uh, since after baptism, we believe, you know, we study. So if you are baptized, you know, you say, oh, I'm okay, but uh, you, we are all weak of human nature. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 can, we, are, we cannot uh, pretend that we are saints. So those sins, you know, can be forgiven like that, you know. So we shouldn't be scared, you know. And uh, on top of that, you know, what you gain in the confession, you gain the grace that you lost, you know, with your sins. So you, 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 
God will refill you with His graces, you know, and cancel your sins, uh, uh, make you in peace, you know, live in peace with God, with his other people, with yourself. So, so I encourage, you know, these people, as a church encourages us to do regular confession. So, the miracle here happens. So, if I am sinner, I go to confession. That sin is lost. That's a, in itself, it's a miracle. So, I feel it now. Yeah, yeah, after yeah, confession with you, I yeah, feel freer, yeah, happier. Yeah, yeah. And you know, the rosary. You pray the rosary. Yes, we do, of course. Why do you pray, personal father? Why do you pray the rosary? A rosary, it's a, like a devotion. It's a devotion, personal devotion. But and the church recommends the rosary too. You know, in the, every Catholic church, we pray rosary. Uh, I mean, for me, seeing you know those people, group of people, each one in his own language, uh, you know, praying together and going up that mountain, you know, apparition. So that devotion, that in itself, I think gives us and speaks us so much you know it's in there you know? so the rosary it's Jesus's life you know dedicated to Mary but in Jesus life we, we meditate in every step of Jesus life in the rosary so yeah that's, that's for our Protestant friends that they know what we are doing at yeah but, but that's a prayer you know we should respect each other you know we, yeah. it's a devotion it's a personal devotion that if the church recommends us to do that uh, the church for us consider a mother you know a mother and a teacher a ma magister in you know, magisterium yes. so the church it's a master you know it's a teacher mm -hmm. so if a church tells me this is a way mm -hmm. uh, and it kept the teaching of Jesus so I have to yeah. of course to admit it and it's my mother and, uh, wants only the benefit for me so I listen to my mother yes uh, you know and then uh, yeah so it's a devotion uh, to Mary yeah, our holy mother in heaven you know, Pater Pio says the rosary is the weapon of our time that's if correct you make the experience praying the rosary a lot of problems were solved situations. That's, that's correct even yeah. it gives you a peace of mind you know it gives you you know to think about Jesus life and then uh, it's it's a uh, it's a, a good prayer you know every prayer is good but uh, you know that prayer, you know, it's together we pray it's as a group, you know. So that's uh, we like a rosary. We say we give a rose to Mary, you know, it's rosary, a banquet of roses to Mary. So and Mary uh, recommended that even in Lourdes, you know, in mm -hmm. Lourdes, we go we go back to Lourdes today, mm -hmm. tomorrow. We go, oh, we're oh. heading to Lourdes too. Uh -huh. So that will add to other experience to us. Wow, beautiful. Mm. And you said, you know, the the central part of our faith is. To have a personal relationship with Christ. You know, in the West, maybe you saw it in Rome, a lot of people think God the Father is an old man with a white beard, very angry, and wants to judge no. and put, put us to hell. No, that's, that's... Can you describe him the real deal? No, that, that's not uh, the church. Even the Holy Bible, you know, it says, you know, if Jesus, the first, the first teaching of Jesus, say, if you like to, when you pray, you say, our Father. Mm -hmm. So that's father, you know, it's not a dictator, not a, a police, you know, it's a, that's all old imagery. I don't know where they came from. Mm -hmm. They are all, uh, they are not a part of our life. You know, I don't know who, who from where they said that. Some, uh, I don't know, some artist or they ima imagine God is with beard, long beard, with white. God is our father. Mm -hmm. So he, take, he takes care of his children. Only he, God wants the be the benefit, the best for his children. Not only, yes. not all. Even a sinner, and this God is loves sinner yeah. more than uh, the, the <laughs> in the sense, you know. So sinners, so we converted. Yeah. So that's go it. confession and be happy again. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. He that's gave all. us the tools with True. confession. True. And um, and you, I believe you because you had this tough life and mm. you still believe God is good. You have to let your house sure. snow, rain, leave sure. everything behind. Sure. I see. Of course, I mean, that's, uh, you know, um, yeah, it depends on our convictions, mm -hmm. you know, and then always we pray. When we pray deeper prayer, God can, you know, can show us a way, you know, can even uh, give strength, strengthen us to even, even to accept a cross that we carry, you know, we carry. And uh, personal experience, you know, I lost my mom two months ago, was 2nd of June, mm -hmm. okay? Exactly two months ago. Wow. Exactly today, two months ago. So I left. We make I this video in honor of her. Also, oh, my I'm brother who died. He yeah, loved going to Iran. He could have yeah, chance yeah, at Iraq. Yeah, yeah. So that's why. So we. That's uh, for us. You know, carrying the cross. There's some toughness in life. You know, sometimes not everything comes uh, goes according to your will, to your wishes. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, we accept uh, and we should be happy. You know, and. and uh, and uh, carrying a cross uh, because Jesus said, you know, 
uh, if you don't carry your cross, you are not worthy of me. So, you know, that's what the uh, gospel says. That's how many times in the gospel. So, And it's the cross is light, we have to remember. If you ca carry it with Jesus, it's getting that's, lighter, no? That's correct. Yeah. And you, you, you said a lot of people, um, you found your vocation. Mm. Amen. Amen. You found your vocation, can you say the, the, the prayer in Aramaic now? Yeah. Which you want to say it right now in Aramaic? Yeah. Say it. If I say... In the, you know the, the 12 ah. o'clock prayer in Aramaic? We say, we say in Aramaic uh, the Angelus. Yeah, the Angelus. say it, say it. It's beautiful. Yeah. So we say the prayer in Aramaic and we say the Angelus. Yeah. 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 Mary Maryam Tamalaha, Holy Anna had dumped Maria Hawaii Mordeg tonight of Slam and Lah Maria and Leith and Ami Maran and Mah, Borata Vinche, Borha de Pere Casahisha, Mat Marim Midalam Sal and Badal and Akne Hatai, Daham Gosad Motanam, Tenet, Pushla Para Shred of Gaman, Slam and Lah Maria and Leith and Ami Maran and Mah, Borata Vinche, Borha de Pere Casahisha, Mat Marim Midalam Sal and Badal and Akne Hatai, Dam Gosad Motanam, Shuhala, Laura or Hotkutcha, Minalam, Adam and Alam, Amin Wamin. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. It's just in our words, a melody. It's like meditation for me, yeah. thinking that Jesus talked yeah. like this. No? Yeah. And um, so you said you found very clear your vocation is priest, mm. the priesthood. Mm. A lot of people in Medjugorje look for their, their vocation. Mm. What you passed the process, what advice could you, would you give people how to find their vocation as a priest? Well, <clears throat> each one of us has uh, special vocations, you know, in life, you know. So there's a process we call it, you know, in, even in these centers, you know, in the, if you go to visit centers like Medjugorje, like Lourdes, like others, you know, we have to do to discern. You say discernment, mm -hmm. discernment that means you have to find uh, like a time for you or just yourself, you do a meditation, you ask God enlightenment to enlighten your minds, you know, say, God, where's your will, what I have to do, you know, even even Jesus' mission was, you know, he said, Jesus, uh, quote, you know, the psalm, you know, he said, uh, my will is, I am coming to do your will, you know, that's what Jesus, you know, quote that mm -hmm. psalm, you know, in the Old Testament, so mm -hmm. that's what each one of us to do, you know, we come, God, I am ready, I am coming to do your will. How can uh, we do it? How can? How can? In life, you know, we call it discernment, you know, mm -hmm. with the, we, not with our strength, you know, mm -hmm. when we, when we rely, when we rely on God, uh, when we say, God, help us to do your will, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, even Jesus said that on the cross uh, before in the Gethsemane. He said, God, uh, yeah. I cannot, uh, you know, if, if it's possible, this chalice can be passed, but let it be done your will. Wow. So yes. that's, that's what Jesus did, you know. So uh, exactly the same. We can, oh, you, sometimes you say, oh, God, I cannot, I cannot do, I'm scared. I don't have power, strength. I, why me? But uh, that's, you know, all human, you know, human, um, uh, you know, weaknesses. Mm -hmm. But if we say, no, God, let's be done your will. Mm -hmm. And I think with God, God's power, we can do that. We can. Uh, the world sometimes attracts us, you know, drags us, you know. But or, we, or maybe the, the, the power of devil mm -hmm. or the, this worldly, mm -hmm. you know, uh, spirit of the world. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, you are, you are in the world but you are you are in the world but you are not for, for the world so that's why that's why we should do always we should be that you know say okay we live in this world but we have we have what's our end in god one day we have to give counts to our lives you know to the gift that god has given us so we say god let be done your will in every single moment in our life i think we can we can find strength and do you think also you know that like you know you have dreams in life mm. I see it now with my brother, you know, mm. he, he left peacefully, mm. Mm. but he lived the dreams, he wanted to travel, he went to Egypt. Yeah, yeah. Is the dream, is that the seed of God? Mm -hmm. It seems like, because like he asked before, a person a week ago asked him, mm. are you fearful of death? And my brother said, no, because I lived, I lived the dreams, the visions I had for my life. Mm. Is that the way? Because he slept, he slept 
and, and, and went away and to God. You know, and here they say the kiss of God. Croatia, they say it's a special gift of God when you sleep and yeah. peace. When, yeah. Is that the right way to discern? Like the, that you have a dream and you have a good image of being a priest and enthusiastic to be a priest. Is that the way to discern it? Or? I think, yeah, it should be. It's in a way, it's like that. Uh, sometimes we feel maybe we are not called, you know, sometimes. Mm -hmm. We are not called uh, with our power strength, you know, feel like uh, not ready. We have some scare, some fearness, you know, but, but that uh, once we rely on God, once we trust, we say, God, uh, we, we come to you, do your will. Uh, and that's why we can uh, find a way, uh, you know, to accept and to regain this, the, weak, the strength that we sometimes, we cannot find that strength in this world, but with God's hands, you know, once say, God, uh, uh, like so many saints, you know, so many personalities, so many, you know, even nowadays in our modern life, you know, and this, there's people, you know, they can, they found the sense in their life, but fulfilling God's will. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And you have a, we talk about saints, you have a favorite saint, Father? Uh, is there a saint from your heart? There are saints, there's uh, in each uh, uh, church, there are saints, you know, there's mm -hmm. in our own uh, church, Chaldean, you know, mm -hmm. back in uh, 4th century, 2nd century, mm -hmm. uh, there is saint, our patron saint is Saint Thomas, so the apostle. Saint Thomas, saint Thomas the like apostle. Uh -huh. Yeah, Saint Thomas, the apostle, so. Uh -huh. Uh, there's other saints, there's Saint Ephraim, you know, Syrian, you know, Chaldean, oh, yeah, Saint yeah. Aramaic, there's uh, Saint Nursay, there's uh, other saints. Uh, we have uh, our church, mm -hmm. if you know our church as a Chaldean, as a church of the East, mm -hmm. uh, it's a martyr church. You know, we have thousands of thousands of martyrs, you know, they got killed for, for their faith, you know, they did not uh, deny, they did not uh, always, they were you know, strong in their faith, even. Uh, uh, in front of the persecutors, the killers, you know, they kept Even up Even now, no? You know, I'm just telling you an experience, yes, you know. Um, I was ordained with the three mm. in Rome, mm -hmm. 13th of, uh, of uh, October 2001. I was mm. ordained with the three other people. Mm -hmm. So one of them now is martyr, so he was killed in Mosul. His name is Father Ragid Ghani Ragid. Wow. So one was my colleague, so he was my colleague, you know. Yeah. We ordained. We were ordained together. After a couple of years, he was killed about for his faith, for his faith in, in Mosul. And his bishop, after that, got killed too. Other Orthodox priest was killed in Mosul too. You know. How is that for you? You yeah, see, you see yeah. the West as here. Yeah, we are, yeah, we are yeah, these Christians. Yeah. We have yeah. happy Christians. We yeah, don't yeah. know martyrdom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what I, would you tell us? What would you I mean, tell us for yeah, all of us? A lot of people watch this. What yeah, would you tell us I, in the West? I, I just, I, I just, uh, just invite, you know, I invite, you know, first of all, you know, to trust in God, to put our life in God. We say, God, we are happy to do your will. Uh, and we rely, we trust, we rely on God. God can never, you know, can never, uh, always is there to help us, you know, mm -hmm. always. You know, once we rely on God to, uh, with the strength of faith, you know, we have to continue praying, you know, and God will intervene in a day, in a moment that we, we will never imagine. So God will always be. You, 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 you had this experience your life. Hundred well. percent, as as I gave my experience, yes. as a, you know, in order to reach this priesthood, but I, with the toughnesses of times, with the wars, with the, you know, left everything. But in Europe, so many people, you know, they sometimes they say, oh, they are uh, desperate, you know, they want to sometimes in the worries. And they have everything. They have life. They That's have what homes. I mean. They we have, have everything. Yeah, there is no wars here. No, you know, uh, no one is persecuting us against our faith. But sometimes, you know, uh, but the most dangerous yeah. moment is, you know, when we, when we feel that uh, we have everything. We lost our the sense of our faith yes, that's in this modern life, modern world, because uh, we say the uh, that's what I think it's a difficult time, you know, uh, uh, the persecution in our modern time is, you know, the teaching that this the teaching maybe is around in the around the world, you know, uh, there is no God, mm -hmm. so live your life. You are you got of yourself. This is what I think the technology maybe they are telling us today. You know that this uh, I don't know what the ideology is today in the world is even encouraging in our schools and you know, preschools. You know the safe schools as they say. It, you know in our, in our countries. You know say so we cancel God from our life and the cows we, uh, we can.
we uh, will ruin everything. So yes, it's ours. So, and we'll end up bad. once of the day, one one day we will, as our faith tells us, we give account to what we have done, what, how much love we show, we show, we show to other people, how much love, how much uh, uh, that vocation, that invitation, uh, vocation of us, how we live this vocation. So. So there is a, a day of account, we give account, you know. Yes. But God always loves us, even uh, He loves sinners more than you know, innocent people. But He loved us, you know, that we don't uh, like uh, keep ourselves in that sin, that mud. We have to come clean ourselves, you know, we clean, we purify. You know, purification, confession is a purification. You purify yourselves, your body, and even the confession gives you strength if your body and soul. Yeah. Well. Wow, unbelievable, Father. Yeah, yeah. And you got a favorite Bible scripture to show our Protestant friends Bible. we know the Bible? Bible scriptures is that's what I, the, the motto, the quote is my, my spiritually was that. Yeah, exactly, it was the Jesus one. So it's, I'm not comparing myself to yeah. Jesus. It was, Lord, I came to do your will. Oh, so beautiful. So it was psalm, but it is in, in the Hebrew, uh, mm -hmm. like, uh, sorry, letter to Hebrew. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's there. I don't, I don't quote exactly the same passage, but. Uh, Lord, I am, I am ready, I came to do your will. That's what my quote, my motto was in the Christ motto. And you also saw the effect when you do his will, you are in peace and in joy. And if you're not doing, you are, you're getting confused. Yeah, yeah, sure. Stressed. Sure, yeah. sure. But uh, not with my strength. But, but with, with, God's his, God. with his uh, uh, grace. With his grace, always is there. Uh, so with, when God is within us, St. Paul said, no one will come against us. Devil cannot prevail. Cannot. Devil cannot. Like worries, things cannot prevail. Once we trust in God, God is leading us, you know, with hands. You know, He's taking our hands and yeah. we leading us to His ways, you know. Yes. But we say yes to Him, not say no. Yes. When, say, when we stick to uh, when our sins, sometimes we say, oh, no, I can't, I'm not talking to confession. Why? Yeah. Why, I, as you said, why I go to priest? Is a human to confess my sins? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. So that's yeah. why you know. Uh -huh. So, so God is our Father. So once it's only God wants us the the best for us. Only nothing else. God is not uh, profiting us. No, He only wants the best. He wants to live our life. You know, under His protection and the protection of his mom, yes. his mother Mary. So the big from, gift, from, Metagoya here as well. Th you know? That's what, you know, that this shrine is ma mother Mary, you know, appeared here. Uh, I, the miracle, as I said from the beginning, you said, see, seeing people, seeing this crowd of people gathering around the, oh, you know, the Holy Hour Adoration, and the Masses, and the prayer, Rosary. That's our life. Wow, beautiful, Father. Yeah. Thank you for so. this beautiful, beautiful interview, and we will do, do it in honor of your mother, who is, like you said, like Thank in you. June. That means exactly two months ago, she passed away. So, because my I think you are a product of her, that your your priesthood, your vocation comes through the mother. Hundred percent. My mom always, always, she was always, she used to, you know, encourage me to go, and uh, there was toughnesses in time, but you know, she always encouraged me to go, and now she's resting. I believe. She's resting, you know, in heaven. She was a very loving mom. Mm -hmm. She was pure. She was uh, in peace, you know. Even in last minutes in her life, I never see a drop of tears from her eyes. Never, never. I never seen that. I was, you know, close to her, like mm -hmm. half an hour before, one mm -hmm. hour. Mm -hmm. She she went peacefully. Peacefully. Yeah. That's I want to do it also for my brother who wanted yeah. to go to Iraq and yeah. Iran. He wanted yeah. to see it. He loved traveling. Yeah. yeah. And the same. He died peacefully because yeah. these people live with God. My, mm. your, I'm sure your mother did. I can see it in you because mm. you are in yeah. peace. You are in yeah. God. My yeah. brother left peacefully as well. Yes. I think it's a lesson for all of us <coughs> to live yeah. the will of God, to be in peace, and then That's we can also at the end go. We don't suffer. We can That's go. Right. No? That's right. Thing. We, yeah, we put ourselves in God's hands. We, we are in God's hands. We we let you know we 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 let God live up, live our lives. You know, mm -hmm. we are in peace, no problem. Okay, yes. so we do God's will. God's will. Yes. And yeah. at the end, one sentence: Why should people come to Medjugorje? Why should uh, people come here? Should uh, to strengthen our faith, you know, our conviction with God, you know, with our faith, you know, this will strengthen our faith, you know. Different experiences like Majogori, Lourdes, Loreto, and churches, you know, miracles of uh, the Holy the Holy Eucharist, miracles we've seen, you know, mm -hmm. that's all. Jesus, 
God is really present. Jesus is present with us, you know, in, his, in, the, in the Holy Eucharist especially. Yeah. That's the most important thing we do to attend Mass, mm -hmm. to participate in Mass, yes. to have communion. We are not ready, we do confession. Mm -hmm. That's confession can purify us to receive Holy Communion. And that's the, the bread of life. Mm -hmm. I am the bread of life, Jesus said. Mm -hmm. So if we say, oh, the bread of life, we don't uh, have communion. No? Why you don't have? You have to go Holy Communion yeah. to do every single moment. If you can go sing, single day, you do com communion. Uh, that's the most important thing to do. Yes. And <coughs> how is it for you as a priest? I mean, mm. when you do the transformation, you know, mm. how, how is that moment for you? Is yeah, special? <laughs> it is a special, but uh, you know, uh, we are uh, like uh, ways in God's hands, you know, yeah. each one of us, you know, we say like we are like, like a pen, God can, can write whatever right. he likes, you know, but we, we uh, let by the spirit of God, not by the spirit of devil and the world, you say, the spirit mm -hmm. of world, Spirit of God, you know, uh, in St. John's Gospel say the, the Spirit of world, mm -hmm. but Jesus, why not say the Spirit of God. So if you are Spirit of God, we go, yeah. we are in peace. Thank you for that beautiful interview, Father. Thank you. Wish you all the best. Uh, and uh, maybe and a blessing for the people who are watching. Oops, sorry, so the camera moved a bit. Yeah. May the, the Almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit bless all of you. Uh, you are uh, hearing us and uh, we pray for all of you and uh, wish you that uh, be a good Christians, a followers, a disciples of Jesus Christ. You have a work to do, to do the will of God. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, Son and Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father.